All right, hello everybody. Today we are here in the machine room of a Schindler 330A hydraulic elevator. And with permission, we are going to be taking a detailed look at this machine room. So just taking a look at the actual room here, it's very small, there's not a whole lot to it. There's my camera back in the corner. There's the actual machine itself. So starting over here, we have our power. And we've got two power boxes here. The first one is for the cab. This is 110 volts for the lights. So if we hit this, the lights go out. And here we have the actual power. It's a 220 volt AC input here. So it comes in, goes into the controller. And this is the entire unit here. So the controller is this bit on the front and the actual pump is this bit on the back. Here's the valve which goes into the jack so that you can shut the valve by turning this off. Got a few information stickers on the side. Up here on the top, this is how you can check the oil level. You can lift this up and you can see where the oil is. Now removing this little top cover, we can look down inside of the actual tank. So this here is the silencer, I'm pretty sure. This is what makes it not so noisy. Sometimes you'll see these on the outside, but this one's kind of in here. And then we can actually see the pump unit down there. And if we turn on the light, you can see the oil down there in the tank. And then here's the pump. You can see it's Elevator Equipment Corporation. So that's a look inside of the tank. There's the back. Here we have a few extra spare parts laying around. And then right here is all the cables that go into the shaft, which go to the car. So your car panel and, and your lights and all that fun stuff. And now this bit on the front is the controller. And there's a lot to see here, so we'll take a closer look at it all. But first we've got this little switch up here on the top. If we come down here, we'll start on the side. So over here, this here is your starter. It's a Siemens. A Siemens elevator starter, you can see there. And then we have, I'm not really, this is a big transformer here. So I'm not super familiar with all of this stuff, but I'm sure some of you guys out there know what all of this is. Down here, it looks like we have a power supply unit of some sort. And then over here, we have our main circuit board. This here is all of the logic and all of that fun stuff. So up here, we have the display of the status and all that. And you can go into the menus and change different settings, which obviously we will not be doing. Got some circuit board up here. Not so sure exactly what this does. This board over here, I'm pretty sure is for the diagnostic port. So that's how you can hook it up and diagnose different problems. Obviously down here we've got a bunch of fuses, we've got a few relays and such. And there's also a lot of switches on the board. So this is your machine room inspection, uh, door power, car door bypass, hoistway door bypass. So there's a few different features down here. And then down here we also have this switch, which lets you send it to the top and send it to the bottom. Car call. So we'll be doing that to demonstrate the machine so that's pretty much all there is to it. So now, let's see this thing in action.
All right, so I hope you enjoyed this detailed look at a Schindler 330A machine room. This was pretty interesting to see myself, and this was, again, done with permission. So do not be going into machine rooms and messing around with them unauthorized. But I hope you enjoyed this look into this machine room and enjoyed it as much as I did. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time.